2017. He restructured the contract in October. Originally, he was supposed to go to 2020, but I, he, I don't see Kaepernick being back. They're going to talk yeah. to him. Lynch said it. He's like, we're going to speak with Colin. I just don't see a new beginning with Colin Kaepernick being in it. I also don't see Blaine Gabbert there. He's a free agent, unrestricted. I don't see them bringing him back. Clean slate, Peter. Clean slate. So what does that mean? I'll give you a couple names, and we can go through them all. I would start off, the first guy I would look at is Kirk Cousins. Shanahan was with him in, from 2010 to 2013 yep. in Washington. Washington's not going to give him this big deal necessarily. I think that might be a trade possibility. You like that, Nate, pun intended? I like that. I, <laughs> I do like that. Well, I think well, I just want to go through a couple, and then we'll get into a deep dive of it. But Matt Schaub was the backup in Atlanta with Kyle Shanahan. He also was with Kyle Shanahan in Houston for years. So if there is a rookie quarterback taken, Matt Schaub could be a veteran. Tony Romo's a name as a wild card. And the other name that was given to me last night from someone who I, I trust would, would have an idea of this, Brian Hoyer. Because Brian Hoyer was in Cleveland with Kyle Shanahan yep. and you know, the there. Manziel stuff, and Nate was on that team. Oh, yeah. They won seven games with Brian. They were seven and four with Brian Hoyer at Kyle Shanahan. So, <laughs> to me, it's, it's going to be a young guy at some point. The, the name that was interesting, though, is Cousins, obviously. And then we threw out there Romo. Uh, you're smiling. What do you got? Well, just because it's so exciting to think about Romo in another jersey. And, you know, we don't know what we're going to get. We don't know if he's going to stay healthy. That one brief moment he came in this past season. Oh, God, it was so fun. It was so exciting <laughs> just for everybody it. to watch. He made the play, and then he went back on the bench. But when you think about the dynamic and who they are, the, the couple we're talking about, Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch, and then the relationship that they have with John Elway, especially John Lynch, you think about them guys having a conversation over the phone or even at a bar saying, hey, uh, uh, Lynch, let me tell you about this story. I brought in this old guy who was banged up <laughs> by the name mm -hmm. of Peyton Manning. Mm -hmm. And he oh, took yeah. us all the way to the top of the mountain. And that could be the situation with Tony Romo. There's, there's, it's a copycat league, like we say all the time. So if you're looking at the Denver Broncos and say, hmm, what they did with Peyton Manning could work if we have the right pieces surrounding Romo. Mm -hmm. But that is the ultimate question. Do like you have Hoyer. the right pieces? Hoyer? Yeah. Hoyer as a, as a, whole, as a placeholder. Need, you need a veteran. You need yeah. somebody there. Look, I mean, this is not, this is the NFC West. This is, look at those defenses. Look out. They are no joke, right? Here's the piece. You've got the Seahawks. You've got the Cardinals. You've got the Rams. I mean, that's. They have the number two overall pick. So the number two overall pick. So you could go that way. You could go Shaw or Hoyer and take the, or even sign a Fitzpatrick. And then Trubisky. And then you take Trubisky. Pick up a stud. Or. No way. You've got the greatest piece of trade bait you ever wanted. Now, Garoppolo is a restricted free agent out in New England. Jay? You've got Kirk Cousins. You've got Jay Cutler up in Chicago. Cousins is an interesting one. If you go back and watch John Lynch games on Fox of the Redskins, oh, he's a Kirk Cousins fan. Really? Oh, yeah. No, oh, he <laughs> likes Kirk Cousins. Okay, I hear that. And I don't think I've given away any secrets That's a here. fun exercise to do to oh, listen go to back, him yeah, as a Go back and watch what he has to say. He's a Kirk that. Cousins fan. <laughs> we should do that. I know. But that sounds like a segment. We've, We've got, got a segment. Uh, but Romo's an interesting one, too. But then again, do you take a guy like Schaub, who just worked with all these quarterbacks, you know, yeah. Matt Ryan? Not too shabby, had to say it. Sorry. That's good. It was well done. Not too shabby. Hashtag that. You don't fire this mm -hmm. morning. And do you take a rookie? I, you know, to me, it's, would you trade, the, I'm going to ask you guys, would you trade the number two overall pick yeah, for, for, say, a, a Kirk Cousins? Nah. No? No. no. Well, look. What about for Romo? What is, who does the Kirk Romo Cousins have to throw to? That's this true. is my issue. Like, you're going to have to go into free agency and into the draft and load yourself up with weapons because Quentin Patton and Curley, as great as he was in moments last season, it's not Fine, going to be a quarterback first. You said day, it right? yourself, Peter. That Kirk, I, yeah, I don't know. Kirk Cousins, he, he lost the big game. He lost the big game a couple times. If Kirk Cousins gets him in the playoffs, I don't know, maybe. The, the Romo thing kind of stinks to me. It does. And if see it's sexy as hell, but like I feel like Romo, he's gonna join this team with a two and four team last year. I feel like Romo's like, I wanna win right now. I, I've had a lot of injuries. I may have one or two seasons. Romo left. wants to play right now. I don't know. Now, does he I don't know. I think he wants I think he's dying like he's better off for one of those. Romo, for right? sure. Does Romo want to play and go like seven and nine? I don't know. I feel like he'd rather stay with Dallas. Really? And be yeah. a backup? I, I think Romo will want to go somewhere where he can be the star. I mean, undeniably be the star again. Winning, that right? Texans He's been the star then? for years. I think Texans are like Broncos Texans make more great. sense, right? For sure, right. 100%. But we're talking hypotheticals. Right. And I feel like if you go to San Francisco, listen, I'll, I'll throw out this other variable. It's about selling tickets and putting butts in those seats. Mm -hmm. And it is a sexy pick to bring in a guy like Romo. I mean, I would buy that jersey. At the beginning of the season, I'd be excited. Of course, <laughs> Nate and Romo jersey. And then Nate's going to end up in not New Jersey. A Frisco Romo jersey? Know, it's pretty cool. The it's red like, one. It's like that Namath Rams jersey. Yes. You know? That's not, a not New Jersey. New jersey. <laughs> I think I got my Twitter timeline was flooded. There was a lot. With not New Jerseys yesterday. People love I don't know who makes it in because you two were like the Simon Cowell uh, <laughs> of Randy not Jackson over that. We hit it really quickly. Not New Jersey. If you've never watched this, this segment about obscure.